Yeah, so just a little bit of an update what's happening here in Thailand. Um, I know that you guys in uh, Sydney in particular and New South Wales, you've got a few problems with the lockdowns and um, a few people uh, getting sick and whatnot in Thailand at the moment. In Bangkok has got uh, a complete and total lockdown not even supposed to be getting in and out. Uh, well, I'm just starting, I'll just uh, apologize for any extra sound. I've got the fan going, I've got the air con on, air con on, I've got, but I've got the uh, glass door open and the water pump turns on now and again. So yeah, uh, Bangkok's in complete and total lockdown. Even all the malls and everything are closed there. So uh, it, it's not pleasant for people in Bangkok. There's quite a few people from Bangkok uh, uh, coming down here to Cha Am and uh, but uh, I think the weekend tourists from Bangkok is going to slow down somewhat because I believe there are some checkpoints and they're stopping people in and out of Bangkok unless they have a legitimate reason for traveling i.e. essential services or work or deliveries or whatnot. Yeah. Okay so Cha Am we're in a uh, secondary uh, red situation. Bangkok is red. We have a bright red, a light red, an amber, blah, 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 blah. So uh, at the moment, all the bars are closed. The restaurants can't serve alcohol. You can eat in the restaurant, but we can only stay open till 11 at night. It's not too bad. Uh, apart from Income wise for people that have bars and whatnot, it's uh, very difficult for those people. They're still paying rent, still paying electricity, and in some cases still paying for staff. So things are difficult for a lot of people. We're making the best of it. You saw the last little video series I did, our little uh, stir crazy getaway to Koh Samet. That was really nice. We had a nice time there. There weren't too many people. The roads were fairly quiet. It was difficult on the Sunday coming back to Cha Am after, after going through Bangkok, but that's always a drama. Sundays here, you get the weekend warriors out on the road. It's very dangerous. None of them know how to drive. They really don't. It's uh, really, really dangerous. Yeah, so uh, we're back here in Cha Am now and we're just chilling out. It's difficult for me to find some... Uh, stuff to put up on the YouTube channel, quite frankly. I mean, there's a lot of places we can go to, but they're not open. So you can't really do anything. Uh, sometime later this week, or maybe on the weekend, I'm not sure, gonna go up and have a look at a waterfall that's about 40K away from here. Uh, I don't think it's a national park situation, so I doubt if it'll be closed. So we may be able to get in there and have a swim and I can shoot some video. Yesterday we went for uh, uh, a lunch outing to a local place here, which is uh, not far off the main road, but it was out in the middle of the paddy. It was nice. I'll throw those videos up with this. So this is just primarily to give you a little bit of an update on what's going on here. It's difficult for me to find. You know the type of videos I like to do. Uh, temples, going places, traveling around Thailand, etc, etc. Well, it's sort of out of the question now. There are places you can go to, there are places you can't go to. There are places I don't want to go to. Uh, many of my friends and uh, colleagues know of my opinions of uh, the COVID situation and uh, that being said, I won't go into too much detail because I don't want comments and arguments and, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah, so I don't want to get into that anyway, but uh, I won't go too many places uh, for the safe. I won't even go and visit my friends. When we came back from Koh Samet, stayed at home for 14 days. Just the bare essentials, going out to do some shopping, going to check the shop, that's it. Haven't visited any friends or anything. Just out of fairness, uh, uh, in case uh, either of us had the, vac had the virus or... And also, I don't really want to get sick. I've actually taken out health insurance, something 
I think that uh, just in case, I mean, I'm over 60. Uh, I, I know, it's hard to believe, it's hard to believe. I, but I am over 60. And uh, if I get sick, I'd prefer to uh, go to hospital and have some decent care. I'm not really ready to uh, throw the bucket list away yet. So, yeah, I'm just being careful, you know, just being careful and just being... Uh, cautious for others around me uh, I don't want to be uh, you know a COVID carrier I mean I believe there is a COVID flu I do and I believe for some people who are really old or some people who have underlying conditions it can be extremely dangerous and uh, I don't really want to get sick either so you know I hate the flu so yeah so that's what's going on here. We're just chilling at home most days. We go down the shop and check the staff and check what's going on at the shop and just sit at home and watch movies and read a bit and do this and do that. Occasional small outing to somewhere where it's not too crowded and there's not too many people. There's not too much danger, etc., etc. Because I can tell you, you know, as much as I hate wearing a mask, and I'm sure you all do back in Aussie anyway, especially in New South Wales, here it's a different story. It is so hot and humid right now because it's the wet season, and we're getting a fair bit of wet here in Cha'am at the moment, more so than I've uh, seen in the last 12 months. So, yeah, it's very, very humid and it's a pain in the butt wearing the mask, I can tell you, you know. Especially if you've got a pair of sunnies on or something like that and you're out on the bike and your glasses fog up all the... It's a pain, it's a pain. The whole thing's a pain in the butt for everyone. But we're doing fine. Uh, I'm quite happy and... Uh, Am's quite happy and we're safe and uh, we're doing really well compared to some other people around the planet. I was looking at a video the other night uh, in the Philippines. 10 million people, 10 million people lost their jobs. And those jobs kept them in poverty anyway. So now they're well below poverty, well below poverty. Whole families out scrounging in garbage dumps just to get something to eat just to get something to eat, find a bit of cardboard to plug the hole in the roof. Or I don't really mind this um, situation too much. I'm a pretty quiet sort of a person, stay at home sort of a person these days. Anyway, so, uh, you know, we're comfortable, we're happy, we're safe, and a lot of people aren't. So uh, I feel very badly about the poor people of Thailand, the people that have lost their jobs and their livelihoods. Uh, you know, Bangkok, I watched the video last night of Bangkok, it was, and anyone who has been to Bangkok will understand uh, what it's like there. It's a thriving metropolis, and at night time, it's all noise and people and food and smells and everything like that a kaleidoscope of of uh, experiences you know for the senses you know and uh, i watched this video last night of bangkok and it was a ghost town absolutely zero people in the street zero traffic zero food nothing absolutely nothing and now i know personally some people who have covid in bangkok they're very poor uh, they've had the vaccines and they still have COVID. So, um, yeah, life's difficult for many, many people. So I think uh, there's no point in complaining or whinging about the situation, especially my situation. I'm happy. I've got it okay. So, um, you know, Am and I are safe. We're pretty happy, pretty content. We stay at home a lot. We uh, enjoy each other's company. Um, and so, yeah, that's the update from Cha ah, I'm pretty quiet here. Streets are pretty quiet here. Although last week in the shop, last week I had the Thursday to Thursday, the week of Thursday to Thursday, I had the best week at the shop that we've had since it opened. And so, uh, put it on Google Maps, 
and ran a couple of ads on Facebook uh, and uh, it seems to have uh, brought a few more customers but of course they're not tourists they're people that live here I met a couple of people uh, the other night who had uh, moved from Chiang Mai down to Cha'am I met a couple of people that have moved from Bangkok to Cha'am and uh, there's a lot of people that are coming down here for a holiday uh, just prior to Bangkok closing down because uh, I mean who wants to be somewhere where everything is closed you can't even go out and get food so yeah a lot of them escaping here so uh, I'm getting some of those people into my shop which is a good thing so yeah the shop's doing all right it's just covering costs and uh, you know it's more than you can ask in the present situation so uh, I want to thank I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the people that have subscribed to the channel all my friends and all the viewers of this channel that have shared the videos and uh, liked the videos and commented you all know how much I love your comments I love to get comments I answer all the comments uh, on my videos and I am really grateful to all those people that have subscribed and liked and shared the videos because I'm over 250 subscribers now. Yay! Yeah, a quarter of the way to a thousand, to a thousand uh, subscribers. And uh, I can only get those subscribers if uh, you people help me. It's your channel as much as it is mine. You know, so uh, if you subscribe and you share the videos, and uh, tell other people about them uh, maybe they're boring for some people I don't know but uh, you know I like doing them and I like the comments I get from the people that watch them and I'm over 250 subscribers now so I'm really happy about that and I would appreciate everyone who's got their hand or their finger in the pie there to share them around and see if we can get some more subscribers on the channel so thanks for watching and uh, at the end of this I'll uh, throw in some video of our little local outing for lunch yesterday quite a pleasant little place okay thanks so much for watching and uh, ciao for now just trying out a new cafe not far from Cha Arm 15 kilometers it's called Paina we're in Cha Arm Quite a pleasant surroundings. A little bit difficult. Google gave me the wrong turn off. The turn off was about 50 metres further up the road than what Google stated. In the middle of the paddy, as many people do, make little places like this. Anyway, we'll check it out. Let you know what it's like. Quite pleasant in here. Don't know where M's gone. What you think? Good? Yeah? yeah? Quite a pleasant little place. Bit of a breeze out the back here. Looks like we're going to get some rain. And of course you can uh, sit out there in these little sala. Out in the middle of the. Uh... Oh, we've got the whipper snipper going. Fantastic. Okay, that's the end of that.
Now, once again, handheld iPhone, no microphone, so please bear with me. I'll do a voiceover later if it's shit. So, we're just going for a little walk around this place, Pinar Cafe, which is, uh, you know, out here in the middle of a paddy, just out, out the back, about halfway between Cha'am and Hua Hin. Not too far from the mountains and uh, really pleasant. I actually uh, complained to them about the guy with the whipper snipper and they stopped him. So we got to eat our meal in peace, just listening to the birds and some music. And so they've got these little things over here you can sit around in and take photos and have your meal next to the, uh, it looks like a pond, a dam, whatever. You can walk out on these walkways, just have a stroll around through the paddy a uh, million times before, so to speak, but you know, little uh, places to have photos and whatnot. Thailand, the land of selfies. Some people call it the land of smiles. I call it the land of selfies. A little bit of weather coming, it is the wet season. We've been getting a bit of rain every day, which is unusual for Cha'am, even in the wet season, because uh, it is the driest stretch in Thailand, 40 kilometers of the coastline along Cha'am to Hua Hin, Prachwap Kiri Khan. But we've had a little bit of rain every day and every night, so. Everything's going green and it's a little bit cooler. Very humid though. Very humid. Anne's having fun. She wants to go for a walk out along here. I said, why? I can see it from the cafe, which is just back there. Few people here. A lot of the cars I saw parked out in the car park. Well, when I say a few people, I mean like half a dozen. But most of them were for Bangkok, from Bangkok, which is uh, a little strange because uh, Bangkok's in total lockdown and there's supposed to be no interprovincial travel from the dark red zones uh, <clears throat> with police checkpoints, military checkpoints in and out of Bangkok. Well, oh, obviously, they're not working because there's people here from Bangkok. Yeah, so Pinar Cafe, a pleasant little outing for brunch or lunch. I'm not sure about what time it closes or anything like that. I'm not sure if they're fully functional. There's actually no tables or anything on these little, uh, those are called salas, sala. Uh, you can sit out here, I guess, and have a smoke or whatever. Speaking of smoke, I might have to get some this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a cafe built on the paddy, you know, and uh, I guess not much, too much money in rice. And so they, um, you know, turn the paddy into something like this and uh, have an alternative income besides the rice. Uh, not too exciting, but a pleasant little outing for the morning. And uh, it is a really nice place. It's nice out here, I can hear the birds. You can't, it's not far from the main highway, but I can't hear too many cars and stuff. So things are very quiet at the moment. Oh, I've got to go down these stairs here. Bear with me. Down onto the paddy walkway. Am's uh, setting herself up for a selfie. So I'll oblige her. I'll just stop videoing for the moment and take a couple of photos for her. As I said before, a lot of people call Thailand the land of smiles. I call it the land of selfies. And everywhere you go, 
they've got these little gizmos set up to do selfies, you know, or photos, you know, mad for it. I'm more interested in finding things like this and I'll try and zoom in on it. You can see those things hanging there in the bottom of that tree. When I edit the video, I'll zoom in a little bit more on them. They're actually bird's nests. They build a, this cocoon type nest, these birds. They're really pretty birds too. So I'd love to catch one. I mean, on, on film, on video. Yeah. So it, it is really pretty here. It's quiet, it's green. There's lots of birds. Am's disappeared. Oh, she's down here pilfering something from the garden. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't steal their plants, honey. <laughs> I think this is something she's going to eat. Correct? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know. Oh, I never eat anything like that. Really? You eat those? Yeah? Yeah, of course. Where are they? Look, she's get, get, hunt, hunting and gathering. <laughs> yeah, she's picking berries off this tree. I don't know if I'd eat them, but she knows what she's doing. Uh, show me. Show me. Uh, these things she's picking and uh, these lily stems. Yeah, come on. It is someone else's property. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, here we are at the Pine Ark Cafe in between Cha Am and Hua Hin, just on a little back road out towards the mountain. Cop! Cop! You know, of course, being a paddy, there's little waterways everywhere, and I dare say on dust there'll be uh, 10 billion mosquitoes.